Hello, and welcome back to Tips and Time Savers. I'm Danny Rocks. In my previous lesson, I demonstrated how to use a pivot table to summarize data by the hour. Now, quite a few viewers contacted me to find out what other types of summary we can use with the pivot table. One viewer in particular was interested in finding out how to group the uh, samples in his test by age bracket. Well, it's really fairly simple to do. First off, while our uh, testers gave us our birthday and we notated whether they were male or female, somehow or another we forgot to add in the age. Now, I like to use the date diff function to quickly calculate the difference between two dates, their birth date and the current date. So the date diff function is an undocumented function in Excel. So you won't find it in any of the drop down uh, list of functions. So date DIF and then a left parentheses. Now the first argument is the starting date. In other words, the early date, comma, and then we want to find the later date. Now, since we're going to be copying this formula all the way down column C, let's make this an absolute cell reference. Use the keyboard shortcut F4 to freeze the columns and the rows in place. The third argument, what difference do we want to find between the two dates? Well, we're interested in the year for the age. So double quotation mark, Y, double quotation mark, and then a right parentheses. So 62 years old. And let's quickly copy that down by double clicking the autofill button. All right, so we have the ages for all of our samples. Let's also take a look at how many samples we have. If I use the keyboard shortcut end and then the down directional arrow, it takes me down to the last cell that contains data in that column. So 532 samples. Let's use control home to return to cell A1. Since I have clearly identified my field headers, I'm ready to create a pivot table. No blank rows, no blank columns. Select a single cell in the data set. Then on the insert tab of the ribbon, create the pivot table. Now I want to create the pivot table alongside the data. So I'm going to select a single cell for my pivot table. Now let's create the pivot table. I have the field list over here. What I'm interested in doing is finding out first off the number or the, the actual ages that I have in my sample. Now the age field contains a number. So if I were to just click over here to add it to the pivot table, because it's a number, it gets automatically summed and put into the values area. That's not what I want. I want to have it as a row label. So I'll simply click it and then move it over here into the uh, row labels. And now I can see all of the unique values that I have for ages. And if I use page down, you'll see that the gamut runs from age 10 through age 72. Now it's time to group these ages. I want to be able to put them into brackets. One way to do that is to right mouse click a single cell and then choose group. However, we can also do it from the menu. Make sure that you select a single cell. That's important. Then on the pivot table tools options over here in the group, we want to group the field. If I had selected more than one cell, I could group the selection. So one cell selected and then group the field. Now in the dialog box, notice that I have my youngest age, 10, my oldest age, 72. And the suggestion is to group brackets by 10 years. That sounds fine to me, so I'm going to click OK. So here are the brackets, 10 to uh, 19, 20, 20 to 29, etc. Now before I put in the age to count, I may also want to include the gender. Now gender contains text. So if I click next to the gender field, it's going to be automatically added into the rows. I don't want it in the row. I want it in the column. So again, just pick it up, drag it, and drop it. So I have in the columns the gender, male and female, and I have going down in the rows the age brackets. Now what I want to do is I want to take age and I want to drag it into the values area. Now notice this time that we have the count. So we're going to subtotal using the count. How many females fall into this bracket? 
between ages 10 and 19. How many males? It's really simple. Let me just move this pivot table field list out of the way. So it's a very easy way to find the frequency uh, for an age bracket. Now, what if I wanted to change the summary? Instead of looking at it by the count of females, the count of males in the bracket, what if I wanted to see the percentage? That's, again, easy to change. Let me just move this up here. And this time I'm going to just use the drop down menu here. And what I want to do is I want to go into the value field settings. In the value field settings, instead of summarizing the values by, I want to show the values as. The key gotcha step here is to remember to look for your options in the drop down menu. I want to see it as a percentage of the column total. And I also want to have my percentages with zero decimal places. Click OK to finish the number formatting. Click OK to close the dialog box. And now you can see the distribution in the age bracket, male and female, using percentages. Now in the previous lesson, I also showed you how you can now use conditional formatting. So I want to put conditional formatting for the top two percentages of females. And then I'm going to do the same thing, top two, not percentages, but numbers of males. Now, I no longer need the pivot table field list. I've made my selection. That's important. Before you apply conditional formatting, you select the range of cells that you wish to conditionally format. And we find that on the Home tab of the ribbon, I want to use a top-bottom rule. In this case, I want to use the top 10 items. But I don't want to see the top 10. That would be silly. I'm interested in only the top two. So when it finds the top two uh, items in my selection, it's going to conditionally formatting using the light red fill. Click OK, and there you go. So I can see my distribution, the top two percentages in my sample who are female. Let's do the same for male. Make your selection, home tab in the ribbon, over in the styles group, conditional formatting, top value, uh, top to top bottom rules, the top 10 items. In this case, I'm going to change it to two, but I want to change the format when it finds those top two values. Click OK, click OK, and there you go. So it really gives me something that's actionable. I can really see a pattern in my data. That of this selection, look how the top two values really skew to an older age bracket for the males. I have in the sample a wider range of females. Now, pivot tables are a lot of fun. It's incredible. Now, just think about this. We haven't written a single formula, and we have a very sophisticated report with just a few clicks. So I encourage you to learn more about pivot tables, and I have a terrific resource for that. I have a 90-minute DVD-ROM or downloadable tutorial on pivot tables. Now, in the next lesson, I'm going to show you another way that we can provide a frequency report, this time using the frequency function, which is an array function. So I'll look for you in that next lesson.